Hi folks, I'm Constructional Coordinator Adrian from Coronado Historic Site. I'm alone filming today, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my mask. Hi, Instructional Coordinator Adrienne from Coronado Historic Site in Bernalillo, New Mexico. Today I'm going to be introducing you to a new plant as part of our ongoing series highlighting the native plants of Coronado Historic mm -hmm. Site and the Rio Grande Valley. This is the hoary tansy aster, also known as the purple tansy aster, and it's native to New Mexico as well as all the western and Great Plains states. Its scientific name is Dieteria canescens, and it's a member of the aster family. Dieteria comes from the Greek di, meaning two, and etos, meaning year, alluding to the plant's biennial or two-year growth cycle. Canescens means covered in short gray hairs. The English botanist Thomas Nuttall collected the first specimen of this plant for science on the banks of the Missouri River in 1811. The hoary tansy ester lives in a wide variety of plant communities, but prefers dry, open areas. It will often grow in disturbed areas and along roadsides. It is recognizable by its purple flowers with yellow disc florets in the center and its green oblong leaves edged with teeth. Its filaries grow in overlapping rows and with tips that bend outward and downward. The Navajo people dried the plant and used it as a snuff to treat nose and throat troubles. The Zuni people used infusions to induce vomiting and to purge their systems. And the Hopi people gave hoary tansy ester to women in labor and created a strong stimulant from the plant extract. So there you have it folks. Hoary tansy ester, native plant of Coronado Historic Site in the Rio Grande Valley. Thanks so much for watching.